Welcome to this two minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to get started creating your first mind map using iMindQ. So let's begin. When we launch iMindQ we are met with this welcome screen which gives us several helpful tips to help us get started. But for now we're going to jump straight into creating our first mind map by clicking the new map option from within the main menu at the top left of our screen. The first thing to do is give our mind map a title and we do this by clicking the central topic and simply typing. We're going to call this mind map SWOT Analysis. Once we are ready to start building out the branches of our mind map we're going to use just two keys on our keyboard namely the insert key and the enter key. To add our first branch we hit the insert key and then type what we want our subtopic to say. As the first branch on our SWOT analysis this subtopic is labelled strengths. We now hit the enter key to add our second topic which we will call weaknesses. By hitting the enter key a couple more times we can create the final two branches of our SWOT map which cover opportunities and threats. You may notice our map is a bit one-sided at the moment and we can fix this by selecting our central topic then opening the Topic Structure option, then select the Balance Topic option, which will automatically even out the layout of your mind map. Now we're ready to build out another layer of information in our map, and once again we will simply be using the Insert and Enter keys to do so. Starting with our Strength Topic, we can hit Insert to add Customer Service as one of our strong points, and then hit Enter to add Office Location as a second strength. Moving to our Weaknesses branch, we might add staffing as one of our weaknesses and then use the insert and enter keys to add further information about our staffing issues. In this example perhaps we are missing key people or have a lack of new talent within the business. Simply by using the insert and enter keys we can start to build out the detail of our other branches and over time build up a comprehensive SWOT analysis mind map for our organization. It's as easy as that. That's all for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more iMindQ videos, templates and examples by visiting biggerplate.com.